Welcome year 10 and 11 ITCSE students. Today we're going to look at compound interest and exponential growth and decay. So uh, key thing here is the formula. Um, I'll just give the compound interest formula but exponential growth and decay works pretty much the same way. So you have an initial amount which in compound interest is going to be your principal P. You're going to multiply that by 1 uh, plus the rate of interest over 100 uh, to the power of the time. <clears throat> so that's how it essentially works and you can apply it to all sorts of scenarios. Now obviously if we have a decay situation that means instead of plus here instead of adding the percentage on you're going to subtract it. So I think I've got one of those in here. Um, okay, uh, let's take a look at this first one. Flynn invests $800, so that's principal. And it's in a bank account that pays 1.8 compound interest. So 1 plus 1.8 over 100. And he's investing it for six years. Now, when we pop this into our calculator, um, 1.0 to the power of 6, um, now I'm getting $890 and uh, 38 cents. Now, uh, a couple of things to think very carefully about here is sometimes you'll be asked for the total amount. In that case, in this case, it's 890. And that is principal plus interest. That's what that represents. And it, sometimes you'll be asked the amount of interest earned. And of course, that is the $90. So you're going to go 890.38, subtract your initial amount, which was that $800 we had. So in this case, the amount of interest is $90.38. Now let's look at the second one here. Uh, Fiona is investing $1,200 for 10 years at a rate of X percent compound interest. And we know that she has a total amount of uh, $1,652.27 in the nearest Cent. So uh, I'll have my total um, after the investment of 1,652.27 is equal to 1,200, uh, which is my principal in this case, times 1 plus the unknown interest rate um, to the power of 10 years. Now the first step is to divide both sides by 1,200. So let's do that now so that I get rid of the 1,200 from the uh, right hand side. Now this gives me a value of 1.376892 to that many uh, significant figures it is going to be equal to 1 plus x over 10, uh, x over 100 uh, to the power of 10. Now we're going to tenth root uh, the left hand side. Um, I've rounded it there, I would leave it as unrounded. And when we tenth root the right hand side, uh, of course we're just going to be left with that. Now, the tenth root of the left hand side uh, is 1.03 to uh, five is equal to one plus x over 100. Now we pull that one across by subtracting, so we're going to get 0. 0.325 uh, is equal to x over 100, and therefore x is equal to 3.25%. So that's that one. I hope that makes sense. Um, okay, now moving on, we've got Sarah and Azar investing some money. Um, <clears throat> Okay, uh, Sarah and Azar invest $10,000. Okay, um, 
10,000, rate of X, uh, Azar, 10,000, 2% simple interest. Be careful here, simple interest. Um, and after seven years, your investments are worth the same. Okay, so, Azars, let's do Azars. Um, so, simple interest, the interest is equal to the principal times the rate of interest times the time divided by 100. In this case, it's going to be 10,000, which is the principal, times the rate, which is 2, times the years, which is 7, all over 100. And so the amount of interest that this chap is going to earn, uh, what is that, times 2 times 7 equals divide by 100, it's 1,400 interest. So his total investment, because we're looking at the how much the investment is worth, therefore total for him is going to be 11, uh, no, what is it? Yeah, 11,400, because his initial amount uh, was 10,000. So we're adding that 1,400 on. So that's Azar. Now, Sarah, she has the same amount um, after the seven years. So we're going to do what we did in question nine. We're going to go 11400 is equal to the principal, which is 10,000 for Sarah, uh, times the rate. And again, we don't know what the rate is in this case, to the power of seven years this time. Next step is we take our 1, uh, 11,400, we divide it by our 10,000, um, and we're going to get 1.14 is equal to 1 plus x over 100, all to the power of 7. I'm going to 7th root both sides, and that will give me 1 plus x over 100 on the right-hand side. Now the 7th root of um, 1.14 is uh, 1.0189, rounded there, uh, is equal to 1 plus x over 100, and uh, so that means that 0 0.0189 is equal to x over 100, and therefore x is equal to 1.89%, and that should be our answer there. Well, I hope that makes sense to you guys. I uh, hope it's been helpful. Let me know if you have any questions. Um, I realize now, <coughs> excuse me, I realize now that I didn't do one where there was um, a loss or there was some decrease in value. Um, an example of a decrease in value would be something that's depreciating, for example, depreciating at 20%. That would mean, um, <coughs> let's say you had something that was worth $10,000 and it was depreciating at 10,000, uh, sorry, at 10%, then you would go 1 minus 10 over 100 to the power of how many years um, that you are depreciating it for. Okay, so just be aware of those kinds as well. All right, team, good luck.